Uh, well, like with anyone real, there is a sort of, I suppose, a huge responsibility. I suppose with any character, though, whether it be Doctor Who, who is an alien, but to me is as real as Robert Maplethorpe is in, on some level, do you know what I mean? I mean, so, yeah, there was a responsibility, but uh, I was just excited by his edges and his and how difficult he was, and I, I really admire him. I admire how prolific and how focused and his amazing work ethic. But, uh, yeah, you know, I was just like, this guy's cool and amazing and, and 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 weirdly he's not in the zeitgeist in in england in the same way he is in new york well he's we, such a figure of this period of time of new york here, as well. and, yeah and, and that period of new york is so thrilling like if i lived in new york i'd live on bond street <laughs> where he lived i would i'd live in the lower east down near the barry like there were so many things where i just thought wow what an amazing time to live in this amazing city. Yeah, I think everybody who lives in New York now or moved to New York after that period of time has been trying to find that the place 70s in New York in New York, a bit it. like the 60s in Soho. Yeah. We just keep getting moved out more and further and further yeah. out, yeah. And there's just loads of yogurt shops. Uh, one of the things that I feel like you do so well with your performance, and you kind of touched on this, is you track his Change, his personality change from the early days of discovering who he is, discovering art, discovering what he wanted, to becoming this very prolific and very specific type of person as an artist who knew exactly what he wanted and didn't suffer any fools or, no. or any bullshit. No. Is that something that you saw in the script or you really saw as like, okay, this is who, this is how I change as a character? I mean, both, really. But that was that's what is sort of amazing about him is that complete focus on going... This is where I'm going to go, and I don't care if I beg, steal, borrow, trample to get there. That is what I'm going to do, and I just, um, you know, not being afraid to show him at his most arrogant and, and cruelest, yeah, and and ruthless. Um, but then he sort of had that movie star quality in that if if you were the center of his world or the center of his attention, then I think it felt like the universe was looking into you, you know, because and I just I just think the images are so. Ah, they're just so right. Something so right about them, and you don't know why, but you, you, you're compelled to look. And who knew that pictures of like penises and stuff like that were so compelling? But they are, apparently. Well, it's like any great piece of art. The it, it feels like it's always been there in a way. Like mm. how did this? How did this not exist before? It's yeah. the best thing it could possibly. Especially be. nowadays, as well, with the conversations that we're having about the voice in different communities and, and, and people that are lesbian or gay or bisexual. And actually now he'd be lauded as a, as a forward thinking artist, but in the seventies he was vilified and it's come full circle. It feels very present today. His, the images in his gallery. Mm -hmm.